watch his faces when he's talking, y'all are like, that's excellent. Thank you very much. You know, an interesting little testimony. Um, a lot of you know, uh, but my daughter was adopted from Russia, and she had all these horrible health care issues. And uh, asthma was a big one for her. We brought the inhaler back with us. But the first thing I did was I took her in, I got her adjusted, we got her nutrition set, and she's never had an asthma attack in 10 years. So anyway, she has them all the time, and now she has none. So her overall health care and eczema, of course, we got rid of that. She's not allowed to be adopted by me and have eczema. So, uh, <laughs> too funny. All right, well, let's go ahead and do a drawing for, I'm going to teach you guys how we do drawings down south. Got your stick in it. When I say the first two left, two numbers, you say treat to wake you up a little bit. The next two numbers, you say spoil if they match your ticket. The last two numbers, if they match, you say pamper. There should be how many people yell pamper? One. Okay. That's, <laughs> all right. Let's try it. Five, four, three, three zero, six, four. four. And it's lined with mineral oil. 
and you're using it two, three, four, five times a day in the different products that, that combine on your skin. The other one that I promise I will get off that soapbox for a moment, um, this is really, we're, we're on a mission to help improve lives one lotion bar at a time. That's been our mission for 13 years. These are about helping to improve people's lives. Take a few things, what are the few things you can do today? And one of the big things is aluminum-free deodorant. And using a deodorant that has no aluminum in it um, can really truly be a lifesaver. So it's just that simple element of replacing your everyday deodorant. And it'll say aluminum on the back because that's what antiperspirants are. It takes the skin cell, the duct, and it clogs that duct so you don't sweat. Do you think God made us to sweat or not sweat? Sweat. sweat. So, but we're going to stop that mess, right? God didn't know what he was doing, so we're going to clog up that cooling system. And um, we have, Jordan Essentials is on a mission for aluminum free deodorant. We have two different formulas, but we have new formulas that have essential oils. It has things like lemongrass in it, which is a natural astringent, which helps your body reduce some of that sweating. I work out a lot right now. I'm training for a half marathon and the MS-150. Um, I had back surgery in 2003, and that's when I said I've had it. I've had it with being sick. I've had it with feeling bad. Um, we had started Jordan Essentials in 2000 before a lot of this was known, and I went on a mission. And so this year, this will be my second half marathon. I don't want to do a whole marathon. Um, but a half marathon is good, and it's the Go Girl um, half marathon in Springfield. And so I sweat. Uh, but it's, so, it's very healthy for you, especially when you're exercising and when people sweat when they're nervous or they're high stress, it was designed to give you a signal that something's not quite right. So um, the aluminum free deodorant goes in and the deodorant, we have plant-based science that helps neuter, neutralize the odor, just neutralizes the odor. So we avoid a lot of ingredients, we replace those and we want to be known as your, you know, you can come to us and you can trust the products that you use for your family. So I created a little worksheet for you today for a wellness clinic. And our little worksheet today goes through a few things that you can do at home. And the first one is to stimulate the systems in the body. You want those skin cells to regenerate. We have, how many of you have tried our salt scrub? Mm -hmm. yeah. we, have, we have the best salt scrub in the entire universe. Absolutely. Universe, not just a planet, it's a universe. And so you can put a little bit of salt scrub onto your scrunch in the shower or in the bathtub. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sweep towards the heart. And we're going to get that skin circulation going. And then we're going to do an all over scrub with the salt scrub. And it's blended with a nice little balance of oils in it too. But it, in your elbows and your feet. And you want to get rid of that dead skin. You know, especially, are you guys sick of the winter or what? We came up and I'm like, wasn't this so nice yesterday? What happened? Uh, but you want to get rid of those dead skin cells on a daily basis. But you can salt scrub and exfoliate your body. It's from the neck down. Now, when you go from the neck up, we have great exfoliants for your face. And we have, how many of you use spa polish? How many of you use gentle exfoliant? Okay. How many of you use both? <laughs> yeah, a couple doing both. Um, the um, spa polish uses Missouri pulverized walnut. Just remember, we make all of our products here. Yeah not here in Nixa, here in Missouri, in Nixa, um, we have our manufacturing plant down there. So I, you know, I do that kind of control freak. So we can control all the products that, and all the ingredients coming in and make sure that our formulas are just right. This spa polish has a pulverized Missouri walnut shell, a hold of beads, and it's a great face exfoliant for people who have more acne or oily prone skin or you do not have sensitive skin. The gentle exfoliant just uses the jojoba beads. I just like saying jojoba. Um, jojoba, uh, jojoba beads, and the jojoba beads, um, they, they gently exfoliate your face. The other fun thing we have, um, and you should exfoliate, it depends on how oily your skin is, and you can make a note on your page if you want to because it's yours um, to take home with you today, but the exfoliants, you can exfoliate weekly if you have sensitive skin a lot less frequently. So, but I always like to exfoliate my face and then I can use that same exfoliant in the shower as well. Sugar scrub for your lips. How many of the kids got gunky lips for winter time? Did you guys get gunky lips where you're like, ew and icky? So this has those um, sugar in it. It has a balancing formula with a little bit of the jojoba beads. I just like the jojoba. It's such a good oil. They call it liquid gold. A little bit on your lips and that helps to exfoliate your lips. To detoxify and pull out the toxins that are in our skin. When we live in a world that has, you know, cars polluting the air. You know, we live in cities. So we want to detoxify. We have, this is probably 
all time one of our top three best selling products that we have at Jordan Essentials and it's a detoxifying clay mask. And it pulls out the toxins and uses bentonite clay which goes into the pore and when it's wet it puffs up and pulls out. And after you use it, it's like, I, what, I need to think of a word for it. I mean you're dewy and hydrated and it is healthy. That's the word. I guess I didn't have to make up a new word. So it is um, a detoxifying clay mask you can use all over your face. We also go to the Dead Sea. I talked about that a little bit earlier. We have Dead Sea Mud. And this is the same thing for your face as it is for your body. Cover yourself in mud and then dip down into the bathtub and you save yourself probably about $1,200 on a plane ticket to Israel and back, okay? So just this little tub will help detoxify your body. Um, I know Peggy is running with me. She is still running with me in the half marathon, the go girl. So as your legs build up lactic acid, you can just do your legs and wrap them in plastic wrap and for a little bit, like 20 minutes or so. Take that off, rinse it off in the shower, and you got a great treatment. If somebody's having some um, swelling or if they're doing weightlifting or different things. My husband is a big, what is he doing today? He did a 15K this morning and then he's doing a skunk run today. They run in the woods for eight hours. If nobody is sprayed by a skunk, it's a good day. I don't know. <laughs> um, Yes, we do have potties in case he does get sprayed. He hasn't got sprayed yet. But he calls it a muscle soak, ladies call it a bath, but you know, whatever you guys want to call it. But uh, the dead sea salts are a staple at our house. And um, my daughter, this is, I, I, I think this is the product that really did her eczema. Besides the fact that we structurally got her well. Besides the fact that we got her nutrition right. But this was a piece of the puzzle, topically, that we were, I couldn't figure out why she and Ron you know, my water bill was going up and they were loving the dead sea salt. He has psoriasis and she has eczema. But we forget about that now. I forget that they had that because they don't anymore. We use the dead sea salts very, very religiously at our house. Uh, and so people pay and come from all over the world to get dead sea salts. And there's just a couple of different little formulas there. We have new peppermint. Has anybody tried the peppermint? Mix it with anything. And you know, the consultants talked me into it and I'm so grateful. But a half a cap of peppermint and half a cap of day at the spa. Half a cap of peppermint and half a cap of grapefruit and lime. It's a wonderful um, blend for you. We talked about stress a little bit too. So stress in our environment, stress from everyday living, it's affecting us every way. I live a pretty high stress life. I'm just going to be honest with you. I have four teenagers now. And um, I know I don't look that old. We're going to go with Jordan Essentials. But, um, I do. I have a, I want to be 20 in September. And uh, I'm the CEO, and I'm traveling a lot. Travel does it, being on airplanes, and you know, you guys are traveling a lot, doing holidays and family too. The things that you can do in your environment on a daily basis. People walk into our office all the time, they're like, what is that? It's just like heaven. Um, because all of our fragrances blend together. We have these great diffusers. How long do you guys last? Those of you who are consultants. Forever. Forever. Salespeople hate them. Eight months. Eight months at least. Eight months. Eight months. I haven't even flipped the reeds on this and I can still smell it. So um, this is a, a wickless, flameless candle. How many of you work in an office outside of home? Raise your hand. Four of you? Seven? Anybody else work outside? There you go. Okay. But this you could leave on your desk and this would fragrance your environment. And it's a nice mild fragrance. Um, <coughs> you can feel it. It's a fragrance you can feel. We have great candles that are soy with no um, lead in the wick. It's a cotton wick and it doesn't give off. Because remember, if you're lighting a candle that's going in your room, some of those cheap candles that people buy, you're putting those pollutants into your air too, so you have to be careful about that. I wouldn't even carry candles except that I think that that's important. We also have um, spritzers, and then we have our anti-aging products, and any consultant that's here today can help you with that. But we have a timer white eye cream made with olive squalon, so we, we leverage the um, benefits of the botanicals like olives, um, pressed in a unique process, to help reduce the wrinkles around our eyes, our face. The uh, alpha hydroxy mask, you know, we're talking about the clay mask, this is the anti-aging. It's made with apple pectin, and it's made with different, um, I wish they didn't use the word acid, but um, citric acid and um, apple pectin to help go back in and erase some of the damage the sun's done or sunspot. And you mix it yourself with yogurt or water and it lasts forever. Again, sales people. All right, so am I supposed to give this happiness set away now? Here in just a second? Okay. So you guys have to get your tickets ready. So last thing I'm going to talk about is our happiness. I already talked about this a little bit. But when you're out of whack, and this is our fantastic super duty work. We have another ticket to go in. Um, these are the happiness lines. So if you are 
My daughter has just turned 15. Y'all can pray for me. Uh, she's doing great, though. She's doing great, though. And I'm over 40. But um, the happiness line has been very happy at our house. Very, very happy at our house. So this is a great set for you. And it's in your, everybody got a catalog in your bag, too? Page six. So you don't have to get that out now. Now you got to take this. All right, you ready for tickets? All right, five, four, three, three, zero, six, hands one, eight, three. Do I have another whispering camera? I get a lot of those for skin care, for eczema, for psoriasis, um, of different things that uh, you can do for yourself at home. I do have a question about psoriasis. You said you have done something in the dead soaks, um, like daily or... He probably does about five soaks a week. She said how often does. He also works out a lot. Uh -huh. So we call them muscle soaks. That's the reason he started, but he didn't realize the, the benefit was the fact that his psoriasis, which were those little bumps yeah. on his arm, under his, the hair on his arm, uh, were going away. And it, it happened pretty quickly, probably after about a month or two, six to eight weeks, I would say. Um, you know, and when we travel, like we go on cruises, we're gone for a week, and uh, it's always kind of a bummer because there's no way to take a bath on a cruise ship. And so we're both, you know, so we get back. It's just, you know, it's really important to get back to our, our protocol of having a dead sea salt soap. So it takes a little bit of time. The shea butter is excellent to use afterward topically. Uh, my whole family is sold on skin relief. My son got a, yeah, the skin relief is like nature's medicine cabinet. And I created this product for my family. It's an all-in-one. It has green tea, aloe, chamomile, seaweed. Uh, we put in there... Um, so the shea butter is in there. Thank you, Tammy. Um, we put the shea butter in there. We packed it full. It's a lotion and a tube. And I just put it in the very front of our medicine cabinet that we don't have a whole lot anyway. But we put it in the front of the medicine cabinet. I put one in each sink. And then they use it for, if we get a cut, we put some on there. If we, you know, sunburn, you put some on there. If you have psoriasis, you put it on there. So it's kind of come our go-to. And then during the day, if we want to use fragrance, different products for different things. So we're starting to see that we're using Jordan Essentials more for what's my need that I need to have filled and using those products to help fill those needs. Anybody else? Y'all are quiet here. I was like in Springfield. Um, they were chatting here. Maybe it's the southern. Maybe you guys are frozen up here. It is chilly up here, isn't it? It's supposed to drop a little bit more. But that's really fun. So that is our happiness line. So now I'm excited because we're going to have Brenda Hofstetter come up. She's a certified reflexologist. When I'm like, I'll volunteer, do my feet, do my feet. Uh, and Joyce is going to do a handout for you as well. So you guys are, do you feel value? Are you feel like you're taking home some really great things with you today? Okay, a couple of you. You guys feel like you're taking things home today? Yeah. Brenda's been a reflexologist since 2004. And she decided to become an instructor because she decided to practice reflexology because her instructor said, what principle is there than to help someone with their hands? She was hooked. And reflexologists do not diagnose or prescribe. It's kind of like going back to that root thing, really, isn't it? It's going back to what can I do? And how can I take care of myself? How can I get out of that healthcare system? And Brenda's going to come and talk to us today to talk about circulation about some things that we can do. She'll talk, be talking about reflexology. And uh, I think the chart in the hand yes. is very interesting. Let's give her a very warm welcome and bring her in. Yeah. She's in Jeff City, so Good. we have teeth in place. Thank you, Brenda. Some of you have heard of reflexology, not everyone has, and what reflexology is, is all the nerves, glands, and organs have reflex points in your hands and feet. And because of diet, lifestyle, and stress, certain reflex points may get blocked by toxins. And for me as a reflexologist, when I start to work on your feet or your hands, it feels like teeny tiny pieces of sand. So I go in there and break those pieces of sand up so that your body can go back to normal and heal itself. And so it's, it's really cool that your body can do that. 
And reflexology is actually from, has come from Egyptians. They found in the Pharaoh's tombs pictures of physicians working on the Pharaohs and they're working on their feet. So it's actually originated back in the Egyptian times. A lot of people think it's Chinese or Japanese, but it's actually Egyptian. Eunice Ingham is kind of the mother of reflexology here in America. She was back in the 1920s. She worked for a chiropractor and a doctor. She was a nurse. And she was in New York and Florida. She would go, one, be in New York in the summer in Florida in the winter. And one of the doctors, zone therapy was big in England, had her start working on her feet and putting where those zones were and what points they were. Well, she found that she kept working on people that more and more precise points were for different organs and nerves and glands. And during her time while she was doing this, they actually sent her to Kirksville, Missouri to the or ortho yeah, osteopathic, there we go, osteopathic hospital and had her look at the charts of the people in the hospital and then she could pinpoint more what the diseases were because of what they had going on with them. And then when the students graduated that year, she would work with the students and show them what all the points were. And she did that for three years. So it was kind of neat that she actually came to Missouri to do that. Um, her nephew Dwight Byers is still doing reflexology. She had no children and she kind of taught him everything and now his grandson is carrying on the Ingram method of reflexology. And that's the school that I went to. There are different schools, so reflexology is a little bit different um, just because of what you know one person has and the copyright laws and those kind of things. But what I have today for you is reflexology tips to use on yourself. And if you look at your little handout, there are the very same points basically on your hands that are on your feet. And it's easier for someone to work on your, on your hand than to bend over and work on your foot most of the time. And it kind of feels a little better and, you know, bending over and getting to all sorts of contortions is not that much fun. So the first one I have for you guys is how many people have trouble with their knees? Whose knee is hurting today? Okay, whose knee is hurting today? The same side, as the knee that it is, like if it's your right knee, find on your right arm, right in that little fatty part of your arm, you'll rub it, and you may find a sore spot. If your knee is not hurting, you probably won't find one. But if your knee hurts, just move around in there until you find that sore spot, and then rub it out. And it's going to make your knee feel better. And I know that sounds crazy, but if your <clears throat> ankle is bothering you, you can rub your wrist. If your knee is bothering you, you rub in the elbow area. If your hip is bothering you, you rub in the shoulder area. Same thing is the opposite way. If your shoulder is bothering you, you can rub your hip, you'll find a sore spot. If your elbow is bothering you, you can rub on your knee and find that sore spot. So they just correlate to each other, you know, bend in the knee, bend in the arm. <clears throat> so that's kind of how that works for the knee. And I have, I worked for a chiropractor down in Springfield, Missouri, and I to visit him one time after I had left, and the doctor came looking out, and I was like, Dr. Lord, what'd you do to yourself? And he said, oh, somebody need me while I was playing basketball. I got a deep thigh bruise here. And I said, does it hurt right there? And I started rubbing, and he's like, yeah. And I kept rubbing and rubbing. And yeah, finally, I said, does it feel better? And he goes, yeah, it does a little bit. I said, okay, walk. And he said, wow, now I can go up the steps. And it was really funny. He's like, you're a miracle worker. And I'm like, and you should know this. But no. And so it really does work. So it's kind of it's kind of cool. So if you have that sore spot, keep rubbing and it'll feel better. Indigestion. <clears throat> a lot of times you have to take Prolisec, Propulsive, all those kind of things. Right here on your left hand, and it does need to be your left hand, right there in the heel pad, you just rub up. And that's your esophagus and it makes your indigestion go away. Yep. And I had flown from Florida back to Kansas City and was driving to Wichita, and I guess the altitude change got me and I had a burp stuck. <laughs> Thought I was gonna die all the way, and there was no, the direction I went, there was no convenience stores or anything, and I finally got to Emporia two hours later. I even pulled over and tried to throw up, it was that bad. Nothing. And I worked on my hand the whole way home, and I think that's the only way I got to Emporia, because it hurt but it actually works, so just rub right there. I use an inchworm kind of technique, and if you just kind of do it on your arm, you just take your thumb and pull it along. You can do that, or you can just plain rub. Nothing wrong with rubbing. 
So you can do it either way, inchworm kind of technique or just rub. For those that do have asthma or breathing issues, the little valleys on the back of your hands, you can feel those. You can just walk that finger or just rub down the valley. When, it, when your bones meet, you do want to stop though because then it does become a little bit painful. So you just rub down the valleys. I have a friend that calls me when he has an asthma attack and says, Brenda, where am I supposed to rub again? And I tell him. You can so also do it on the inside. In the valley. In the valley. In the valley. In the valley. So when you hit the bone, you want to stop. Okay. Yeah. So it's right in the valley. And it's either hand. On that one, it doesn't matter. Either hand will work for the, for the breathing issues. Um, you can also work right here under those fingers. That's the diet. So that can also help. Again, you just rub. If you have a headache, that's a good place to rub too because it's also where people generally carry their stress between the shoulder blades. That's right there. Yeah. Doesn't matter which hand. Nope. Doesn't matter which hand. Those are both the same. Um, next one is sinus and allergies. Work your fingers. Work your toes. Toes and fingers are sinuses. And just rub them again. You can also take your finger, take the other hand, kind of walk around your finger. Just do all your fingers. There are your sinuses. You can rub. You can inchworm. Those are all the spots. And if you have some sinus stuff going on, they could be tender. You know, you can sometimes feel it because they'll be tender on your fingers. Or if you're having a trouble breathing, you know, and you're walking down there and it's like, wow, that's sweet. That's so both sides of the fingers. Just the bottom side. Oh, yeah. You don't have to worry about the top side, just the bottom side. Um, also, with the sinus and allergies, especially if you have a cold right here, which is that intersection from the middle finger and the thumb, middle finger down and the thumb, right about there. If you feel it and it's tender, that's when you have an itis. Sinusitis, fursitis, anytime you have an itis, plantar fasciitis. Okay. I'm going to it does not hurt. It does it's not hurt. hurt. <laughs> and it could be that your antibiotic is working. But also sometimes when you're tired and you have no energy, that's your adrenal gland. And that's what helps you get better, the adrenals do. It's with muscle tone, energy, all those kinds of things. So right there on either hand. Doesn't matter which one. If you have a headache or just when you have some pain and the next one below it pain, hook in and up on your thumb. So just take your thumb, take your other thumb, stick it in the center, and pull up. And that's your pituitary gland. It controls all your glands and it'll help with your pain. It'll help with the headache. And then while you're working on that thumb, just go ahead to the top and work along the top of your thumb. You just rub the top of your top thumb. You can work the tips of your fingers. Just press on them, press down. You'll sometimes feel it crunchy. Those are all your head and brain. So when you have a headache, just work the tips of your fingers. And work on that thumb. Um, there is a poop button. <laughs> For those occasions. Um, and if you look at your hands, you start on the right hand if you want. And you work the colon, the ascending colon, and it comes across. It goes over here and it descends down to the poop button, which is right about there. It's across from the thumb and down from the ring finger. So right there is the poop button. And if you have little kids, you can work on their hands. And it's the same thing on their foot. For a small child, if you work on the right foot, you just kind of take your thumb and rub this way, then take your thumb and rub that way. And right about there is your foot button. That toe down, and from where that foot comes in, it kind of has a point, and it's right there. So you can just rub and rub. We had a neat lady at a convention I went to, and she said, and it's a good reminder, be sure you have an extra diaper, too, if you're rubbing on that. <laughs> 
You ready? <laughs> the next one is the spine, and if you have back pain, this is the spine on your hand. On your foot, it's all along the inside of your foot. And there's 28 um, bones in your spine and 28 bones down there in your foot. So you, when you start on your hand, you start on the heel, and that's the low back. And you, again, you just rub along, and you're going from the very bottom of the back all the way up. And when you get to where the thumb joins your hand, that's your neck. So you can work around the neck. So sometimes when your thumbs are sore and your neck is bothering you, that's why. So work on that neck, and then you can also go on up the side. And those are all your cervicals. Um, if you have some trouble with the hip, the hip is down by the low back, so it's kind of easy to remember because it's right below the pinky. It's that bone and that joint right down in there. So you can work on that for your hip pain. Does that matter which hand? If it's your left hip that's hurting you, work on your left hand. If it's the right hip, work on the right hand. So it does, it does make a difference. Your shoulder is just up from the hip. And it's right there, that little joint by the pinky. Mm -hmm. So whenever your shoulder bothers you, it's all that area right in there. And something else that's good for, if you're working with children, small children, it works for adults too, but if they're running around and you can't get them calmed down and they don't want to take their nap, and this one's not on here, um, but I thought of it while I was over there, is hold their heels, and that's all you have to do. Hold their heels. It's very comforting, calming, and grounding for them. And that's all you have to do. The only thing that you need to think about is kind of being down in the lower part of your body. And that you're in your feet and you're not way up here in your head too. But just, you know, big breath. Hold their heels. You know, oh, let me hold your heels. You know, I, let me rub your feet a little bit so we can just calm down and wind down. And you just have to hold their heels. And it's very comforting and calming. So that's a little extra one there that I didn't get on. Reflexology is pretty fun. Um, when you start working on it on yourself or each other, you're surprised at what you find out. You know, you think, oh yeah, I'm gonna rub this and this is not gonna make my knee feel better. But then you stand up and you start walking and it's like, wow. So I have a friend, she says, yeah, I sit there at work and do this and then I stand up and walk. So it's easy to do. Nobody knows what you're doing. You know, if you've got a sinus thing going on and you're all, you know, stuffed up and feeling miserable. Who's going to notice if you're sitting there doing this? Nobody. Or if you're sitting there doing that, nobody's going to notice. It's all very easy to do. You can do it anytime, any place, and that's the beauty of reflexology. It's like my instructor said, you know, what greater gift is there? You can do it anywhere. You can do it on an airplane. You can do it on a boat. You don't have to have anything special. You have your hands. Everybody has hands, you know. And if you have someone that doesn't have a hand or a foot, you know, if somebody doesn't have a hand, I can work on their foot for things in their hand. I can work on their hand if they don't have a foot. You know, it's it's very neat what reflexology does. It affects the whole body, and that's that's a neat thing as well. Do you have a question? Yeah, I did. How long should you rub the thigh? Generally, until the pain lessens. You know, like. Say you're having a headache and you want to work on the tips of your fingers for a little bit and it starts to feel better and then you may start rubbing across your hand and that starts to feel a little bit better and then you work on your thumb a little bit and that starts to feel better and then you may go back and work on those tips of those fingers again and see how they feel and as they start to feel better then generally whatever you're working on is going to be better when you're done. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Yeah, now that you told us how to do this do we just put you out of the job? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> what um, do you do when we come in and see you? When, when you come in and see me, I kind of work on, you know, more specific things that you may have going on, and you may be able to do it, but then again, I know where certain areas are, and there's, there's a lot more than these points that work on what lungs. Yeah. You know, down here works on your lungs as well as there that works on your lungs, on your ankle, for your back. There are numerous places on your foot and ankle for your back. Um, there's up the side for the back, the heel is back, along the 
back of your, around the ankle bone, that's for your low back and hips, and then across the top is that. So, I know some things you don't know. <laughs> so, is it the ice? How long is the session when you do like a, is it like a massage where you go in for 30 minutes? Is that? Yeah, it's generally a 30 minute session. Mm -hmm. And I work, I do, for me, I do different sessions at my, at my office. Um, you get a lovely warming neck wrap you could use. When you're working on yourself too, there's nothing wrong with using your diffusers and using your candles and getting your salt sea scrubs. Because I do um, a scrub session where I do a 10 minute scrub on the feet and then I do a 30 minute reflexology session. And that's really nice because you get all that dead stuff off and your foot is all nice and soft and you've got the soothing music and you've got your neck wrap on that's nice and warm and then I stick a warm towel on your feet and then I work on your feet with the reflexology. So, you know, your feet feels really good. You know, they're all nice and soft and you get warm and you get, you know, your lotion on. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a great way to be stressed. And stress causes so much in our lives anymore. There's a lot that stress causes. A lot of disease, a lot of things. Yes, please do it. Can you remind them about the importance of fluids? Yes. <laughs> yes. It is very, very, very important to drink because I break all those toxins up, so now you need to flush them out of your body. So you do need to drink lots of water once you have a reflexology session done. Joyce didn't quite do that. He wasn't feeling well the next day, and I said, Joyce, did you drink water? And she said, no, and I went, okay, there you go. So yes, you do need to drink lots of water. Yeah. Anything else? Are there some like points for college students, you know, that are studying and maybe help a little memory? Brain. Yeah. The fingertips. So the fingertips. Mm -hmm. You can have the fingertips. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, and I was gonna say you can use some of the oils. Yeah, when you're studying, use that, and then before you go take the test, smell that oil again. It kind of gets your brain going again. Yeah. Yep. Yes, there's something you can do to help you sleep, you know, like how to sleep well, is there something you can do to make yourself sleep better? Actually, getting a reflexology session will help you sleep better generally because you just loosens everything up, gets rid of those toxins, and you're just not stressed. But again, that area right here that's the diaphragm area, because a lot of times people will carry their stress there, that would be a great spot to work for sleep. You know, work on that. Working the pituitary um, because it's it's the major gland. It controls all of them. It gets stressed out so much. That would be a good one too. Just because you know it it needs help. It needs support. It needs to be supported. Thank you so much. Chiropractic. Um, I met an amazing chiropractor a year and four months ago, and he actually listened to me where doctors did not. And I would be a testament to, I have never been able to lose weight. 62 pounds, six sizes in a year and four months, and I feel better than I have. Springfield come to you and the lotion break you guys all have a little baby lotion bar in your uh, bags but you can use that lotion especially if you have arthritis in your hands you can use a full size bar is easier but you can use that to do your points on your arms and they use that and then it also gives you a nice glide afterward so you are going with a little reflexology bar too how's that <laughs> and uh, I also if I get somebody to run these back here, I have one for Dr. Rose and for Brenda today for coming. I guess I'll run these back here. It's a good thing I do all that running. All right, do I have another drawing? Yes, I do. You guys want another drawing? Reflexology. Okay, ready? Five, four, three, zero, six, four, six, eight, B. Amber, 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 Amber,
the whole health and about wellness. I love that definition. I'm so going to use that. Um, it's not about how you feel. It's about how you function. And a lot of us are not functioning well in our finances these days. And so we have a, a piece called financial wellness. And when I started the business in 2000, I didn't start it because I wanted to start a business. I started because my family had a need. My son was born with congenital third nerve palsy in his left eye, so there was a lot of eye surgeries and patches and trips to St. Louis to the hospital. And um, I was trying to work my schedule at work around that. And it was very difficult. And I really wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. That's what I really wanted to do with my life at the time. And um, I needed to find a way to make money without giving up that. And then we had two more kids, and my husband's like, you ought to think about getting a job, Nancy. And I'm like, but I like being at home now. So I had three boys at the time. My kids were one, three, and five. And we had economic <laughs> stress in our family. And um, whenever I invented the lotion bar, the original lotion bar, uh, I sold about $7,000 worth in my first month. And my husband goes, make that your business. You can do something with that, you think? We talked to some different um, experts who asked me a lot of questions. They asked me questions like, so uh, I had somebody who was going to bankroll me into a franchise. I had somebody who was going to get me stores, little stores set up. I had a Walmart buyer call. And, you know, it was all happening so fast. And this is 13 years ago. My kids were little. And uh, my sister had been helping me sell the products, and a friend of mine from church, and my hairdresser, and some friends I had, and some people I knew. And I wanted to be able to help them financially as well. And so somebody said, if you had said to make a million dollars, I'd probably say this wouldn't be a good idea. But you can make a million dollars and make an impact on a million lives if you do direct sales. And I said, cool, cool, what is that? <laughs> so I didn't really know what direct sales was. And direct sales is basically just taking the product directly to the end user. And now we have almost 11,000 consultants in all 50 states, Guam, Puerto Rico, and St. Thomas. And um, financially, they're able to add, because sometimes it's just a car payment. You have one car, you need two cars. You need to have um, a lot of people. How many people have had some sort of benefit cut at your job? Health insurance, you know, life insurance, benefits, retirement, hours laid off, whatever it is, in this economy, we're seeing more and more people reach out and need, and of course, what help meet those needs. Well, across our company, um, we see tons of women have really great stories, but there's only one person in this position, and I had to ask, um, Tammy Bechtel is our senior national VP, she's the top person in the company, and having her come today um, and drop everything else she was doing was kind of exciting to have her come and talk about financial wellness. Um, I know that she really loves the consultants and she's been with us for a long time. Uh, but her goal is to help you see how you can add a little or a lot um, and take some and create financial wellness in your family. Let's welcome Tammy.
Nancy asked me um, after I had joined, we figured out that she was at one of the shows that I was at for another show that I was doing. And I never asked her to join the company. She goes, why didn't you do that? Well, God, I wish I would have now. But, you know, I did because the company didn't offer me anything until I had four people under me. So why would I get into a business, ask Nancy to come join me, and I was only doing it part-time. I was doing it because it was um, a toy company and I wanted toys for my kids. And, um, and I think that's what people do. They do different things because they want to get in it. The other companies I did, it was not a consumable product. So you gather so much stuff up and then pretty soon it's like you have enough stuff. And then people, all of your friends and family, they have enough stuff that you were selling. So then you get out of it and then maybe you do something else. One of the nice things about Jordan Essentials was it's a consumable product. I use the product, my friends use the product, everybody else uses the product. So what I want to talk to you today is about why and how do you sponsor? Um, I saw this kind of as a hybrid because you have the products and you get in and you have the business and you make money immediately, which is really, really good. When you get in the business, we ask you guys to look at five things. We want you to think about the people you know. Because I think that's the biggest thing is people get into business and they don't know where to start or who to start with. So we have a thing that we do and it's called Frank. And Frank is your friends, <laughs> your relatives, your acquaintances. Who are acquaintances? It's your church people. I mean, yeah, your chiropractor, it's your reflexologist, it's your, those associations, any associations that you're in, it's your co-workers, it's all those acquaintances that you know throughout your life. This is a huge one right here. Your neighbors and your kid connections. So this is what we ask. How many of you are guests out here today? How many of you fall somewhere in here? The consultant that asked you, do you, are you somewhere within this? Everybody's within Frank, right? So we ask you to come up with 50 to 100 people that you know. And so, how many of you did shows for your consultants? See hands? I see hands back here. Good, good, good. And because why? It's because we told them, go out and who do you know and ask them to do shows to help you get started. That's what we tell them. So that's what they did. The thing is, I think the biggest problem is you guys are huge supporters and we thank you guests for coming. We thank you for supporting your consultants. But the thing is that when you do your shows, you invite your friend and those people are loyal to you. Okay? They're not loyal to me. They're loyal to you. That's why they're coming. It's because what do you usually say? Oh, my friend, she's starting to sell drug essentials. Would you please come help and come be at my show and just come out? That's what you say. And when you're asking, you're going, I need people to help me get started, so will you do a show for me? So it's all a help, help, help. So what happens is, is that, how many shows do you guys do for your consultants? I mean, how many shows do you do a year for your consultant? One, two, three, put your hands up. One, I see five. Woo, I want you. So, Sarah. Oh my Lord. Yeah, I like I see five in, I love that. So when you do the show, you get free products, right? Yes. Okay. And your customers start learning about the products. And if you're not careful, now like one of those five shows, I'm, you're, an, you're an expert. We love you. Because of the fact that you, if you're always just inviting, let's say, how many people just invite sometimes just their friends? Have you ever been to shows and you're doing shows? And it's like, well, I'm only going to invite my friends. I'm really going to invite my neighbors. Well, then if they decide to do a show, the problem is you end up stuck in a rut. So when we train you to, the hostesses, to do a show, we want you to do Frank. Because it makes you have several people at your show then. And you're, then you have different pots. So that if your family member, relative, decides I want to do a show, and your neighbor wants to do a show, then you're getting different people at your shows and it helps you grow. But some people don't want to do shows for the consultants. They're showing up for you. So what would happen if you all of a sudden became the consultant? 
If you love the products, you can do your intros a year even, and you still get free product. But the nice thing is you're getting the commission, and we do pay commission of 25 to 35%. But if you all of a sudden, all those people that you invited, most of the time, 8 to 12 people will come, and then they'll think, oh, I'll just give it the next time. It's okay. But if all of a sudden now you have your frank list that you've made, and now you are going to these people in your school who you do a show for me, those people are going to be more apt to do a show for you as a consultant than they are for you as the hostess asking for somebody to do a show for the consultant. And this is what makes network marketing work. It is getting into the business and getting into the business and getting into the business and you grow your business. I know Paula um, sponsored um, Nicole, and Nicole, were you a neighbor? Yes. Friend, neighbor? Yes. Okay. And if if Nicole just said, and she just got in because she thought, oh, I'll help her out and I'll do a little bit, and she's done a lot with it. She's got a great big team. And the thing is, is that this neighbor, if she'd only been the neighbor who did the parties, we would not probably have a majority of the people that are here today. So we grow and we grow. Nancy started with six people in her living room. I was not one of those six people. Um, I got invited to a show and I went to the show. And I mean, when I saw what it was that I had to do, I went and I talked to three people. And I talked to my mom. And my mom, she wouldn't even have a show for me, you guys. I've been there so many shows. I've been in so many business. She was like, no. And, so I said, fine, my sister will do a show for me because she loves me. My mom came. And it was so funny because when my sister's mother-in-law loved the products, my mom said, if she likes it, everybody will like it. <laughs> and she signed up, and she has been a rep with me for 13 years. And um, my mom loves it. And you know, my mom got my sister to sign up, and you think, oh my gosh, it's too much family. My mom was 80 miles from me. My mom has different neighbors, she has different church friends, she has different co-workers, she has, she has a whole different realm of people than what I do. And so does my sister. And you know, back then when we were country bunny, my family was in the rabbit business. If you don't think they didn't take that to the national level, <laughs> you're crazy because they did. They go all over the United States with their rabbits, so they love the country bunny. But then I invited a uh, one of my actually acquaintances who was a hostess, a past hostess for me. And she um, did the bit, she, I invited her because I knew she'd do a party for me because she had, been, had done it before. So she did, she did a party and she, her friends liked it, but I couldn't get anybody to book a show. Nobody booked a show. And I told Debbie, I said, why don't you do this with me? I said, you love the product, she loves soaking in the top. And she said, well, you know, I've been sick. And I have a lot of medical bills. And I was like, well, well, don't you think you need it then? And she goes, well, I don't know if I could do it. Do you think it would help me? Do you think I could make $50 a month? That's what she thought her goal was, was 50 a month. She goes, that would take off a lot of my bills. You know, she signed up. And she, her husband was in the military, had been in the military. So we contacted all of her military friends. And we went and we saw them. And we signed up people in Arizona and Oklahoma. And we were having a ball traveling and doing this business. And she is a, still with me, she's a senior national rep, and she's got people all over, and she's wonderful, but she never thought she could do it. And we became a team, and it was great, and that's kind of what I think of Paul and Nicole. They're a team, they love to work together, and, um, that, and it, it helps you when you have a partner, you guys. It's really, really good to have a buddy. And then my next one was my neighbor kid connection, kind of. And that was uh, Dr. Julie Penney. She didn't need the money. Her husband was a doctor, too. They didn't need the money. But you know what? She does, um, she uh, has her doctorate in, um, I guess, in um, nursing. She has it, she's a family nurse practitioner. And then she also has it in um, the alternative medicine. And she saw it as, she loved it. She said, this is something neat. It was healthy. She saw it working with her business. She loved the lotion bar. Um, she did it to help me, and we grew our business. So I had three people that helped me grow, and I think I have like 6,000 now under me, 
you know, as far as like eight, ten levels, nine or ten levels. And it just went from three people that I knew. And so all I ask you guys is think about the business. If you love the product, why would you not become a rep and get the benefit of the commissions that you get plus sharing it with all of your family and all of your friends? Now, I got away from that seat, and I didn't even put my card, so I want to make sure I got everything. But um, when you use, like, your Frank area, your Frank, it is going to help you to expand your territories. And if you'll continue to remind people to use your Frank and get in it. Because how many of you guys know people that live outside of this area? Raise your hand. Okay. I love that. You know, the more, and how many of the... Um, <coughs> People that you know that you, um, the reps I'm going to talk to here. You guys have people signed up from different areas. That's not just locally. Very good. Because that's what grows your business. I know um, Julie's got some, she's from Iowa, and she's got people there. Wherever you are. You know, one of the things I love about technology today, so easy to communicate with people. 13 years ago, it was not so easy. I mean, we went to Arizona, we flew to Arizona. And then I called Nancy, I said, we have so many people signed up. I remember we were so excited. It was, it was, and I think that's what really made, you know, Debbie and I so excited. It was like, wow, this really is a business. And I will tell you, since I've done so many businesses, my husband was not happy when I started. He was like, here we go again. I mean, I, you know, and I told him, and actually I got him on the massage bar, the chuck on the massage bar, I got it for him. He goes, oh, I really like this. I said, good, because I'm going to sell it. He's like, whatever. But when, when I won, I was the uh, queen that year. I was the, uh, the top rep in the company. And we got $1,000, and we got a cruise for two. And I sat back down, and my husband grabbed my leg, and he goes, I think we got something here. <laughs> because, we, because we had tried to do some of the MLM businesses, too. And um, so he was trying some things, too. And... We just, we like to have money. We like to be able to do stuff with money. And we like to be able to give it. Um, you know, I love it that um, I am debt free and I love it that my, um, I help my kids buy their homes. And I just, I, I love to be able to do stuff for people. And um, I just, I think it's a great thing, whether you need a little money or a lot of money, whether you just, whether you think, I want you to think about, would you use more of the products if you were a rat? Then if you are a customer or if you're a hostess, you would. Shanna's back, Shanna's back there going, uh-huh, you do. Because I know that she was a hostess several times and then she became a rep. And you feel better and you look better and you and and then you are able to, you know, because the the products are so good for you, your your health is so much better. And so um, we have kits that are $99 to $250. And I love it because right now you can earn it free. If you take your Frank list, get nine people to do shows for you within the next three months, you're going to earn about uh, $3,000 by probably doing that within your three months. You get whatever kit you pick, you get the money back. Now let's say you just do the $3,000. Do you realize that you're going to make $900 back from that too? And we have a consistent, we have a uh, fast start program. That gives you, when you do a thousand a month in your first three months, you actually get back a hundred dollars in your business tools and you can buy more product. It's wonderful. So you're not out the money. The money that you make is yours. We give you other things to invest back into it. And then every Rebecca, we have a consistency club where you can get your hostess and your customer specials for the month and you can earn those. So we have a great plan and it's a great company. And the one thing I can tell you is you can learn a little and you can learn a lot. It's whatever you want to do with it. But one thing about it, I'll tell you, this we we are a family. And that is probably the reason why I think I've stayed with this company is because we do have heart. Amen. And um, if you've been in other companies, you know that. I just like Julie said, because it is different. And very seldom can you come and you can touch the owner of a company, and you have contact with Nancy. There is everybody, she loves the rats. And you do not find that in other companies. So um, I invite all of you 
um, to join our company. We do have a special that Nancy's going to share. But I have $50 that I'm going to give away, and I need to find out who brought the most gas. So do we know who the winner is? information you can take home. You don't have to sign up today. But I will give anybody who signs up today free happiness spray. Now, we're doing something. I love fun. And you guys like fun? You guys have the word? I mean, I've been having the time of my life. I still I hate to even say the words. It's been 13 years because it's been so fun. And I still think the best is yet to be. We're doing two cruises this year. I have a second cruise one in October, so it's a tough life. So, if you sign up, but if you, if you sign up anytime this weekend, we have a pot of gold. There's $100 for anybody who signs up this weekend to go into a drawing for $100 worth of free product. So that is happening nationwide. The only place in America that's getting your bonus of your happiness spray. You can take it home tonight and say, honey, I'm so happy. Shh, shh, I just signed up for Jordan Essentials. It's easy, those of you who brought your spouse, you can already discuss it if you want to. <laughs> but why not take some financial pressure off, or at least get a discount on your products, and share it with your sphere of influence. We thought that was a great way to talk about it today, but I have these up here with me as well. So when you're done today, you can come over and visit with me when uh, we're all finished. Can they touch you then? They, yes, yeah, you can touch you. I'm a hugger, so you can just touch me all night long. <laughs> so we also have a, um, across the country, we're doing a pot of gold spa parties. And this is so funny. Um, anybody who has a spa party in the month of March, your consultant registers that spa party at the time of the date, and then we do a drawing, and then I call them. So I've called, uh, have I done three so far? Just to hear them screaming at the party because the hostess and the consultant both get $100 in free products. We're giving away $1,200 in free products this month in that program alone. So on top of that, I think the company is very generous. You know, uh, my husband and I are the sole owners. We kept it that way on purpose so that it is a balanced partnership. It's not a corporation running us. This is what we do here today. So with that, um, I think we've got, I've got, I have one more little happy lotion to give away, and then Joyce is going to come and bring us home with your big grand prize drawing. I just want to hear you say treats won't pamper one more time. Okay? <laughs> Five, four, three, three zero, seven, four, four, zero, seven. Wait, the pamper? I know this is a quiet little pamper. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Thank you. All right, Joyce, come up here and let's give away the grand prize. So just to wrap up, my own testimony, I'm going to share just right quick, this is off agenda, but um, it hit me in many ways while they were talking. I've been in the business about three years, and I started because my husband was laid off, construction. So we, um, I needed cash, 
and we wanted to set our schedule. So just like what uh, they were talking about. And it, I was highly successful, did great in my first year. And also, my husband has psoriasis. And struggle, scratch, topical, all these ointments, horrible stuff. And he doesn't use any of it now. Now, I have plantar fasciitis. Now, between my husband's psoriasis, his allergies, Brenda is our reflexologist. So um, we've also started with the essential oils, taking, watching what we eat, eating real foods. Um, we both have chiropractors. My kids go to the chiropractor, go to the reflexologist. So kind of more of a struggle this last year was Jordan Essentials, you can work it when you, when you need to work it. And this last year, I have not been working as hard. But um, the family, my, my dad was in a terrible car accident and showing up at the hospital, did parties for me, you know, all kinds of things. So I did not intend to be emotional, not an emotional person. I don't know at all. <laughs> Except for a couple of people I mentioned. But uh, that's something that you don't expect. Sometimes not only do you get great friends and great customers that I've become very close to who's willing to put me up in her house. You know, things like that, that you don't just get from your other employees or other companies. So I did want to share that because it reached a lot of areas we talked about today. I didn't think you mind. Okay. So, are we going to treat soil and paper again, guys? Yes. Don't you think we should? Yeah. Okay, before we do that, just to wrap up, again, thank you, Nancy, for coming and um, helping us do our event. Tammy, for coming and showing your great success. And uh, Dr. Rose, big hand up. And sometimes I'm the type of person you guys hear little snippets before it all comes together. So every time we're able to go out and talk to you, our guests, or our consultants, sister consultants at meetings, it just builds and builds and grows and grows. So uh, thank you all again for, for, for coming and helping educate us and everybody for attending. So, no better way to end than the drawing. Silence. Ready, ready, ready? Five, four. Trees. Trees. Zero, six. Four.